friends welcome back to arc tutorials this is angular 14 full tutorial series for absolute beginners in the last few episodes we are continuing to learn about angular components in the last episode we learned about component styling different ways of using component styles for our template elements in today's episode i am going to touch base about a very important topic this is the foundation this is the most important thing that you should learn about angular today we are going to learn about component class especially if you are a if you are someone who is moving into angular for the first time or even if you are an experienced developer i'm sure you'll get this particular episode to be very useful everything that we do happens in a component class the logic of our application resides in component class and hence it's very important that you understand the basics and foundations very clear keeping that in mind let's get started this is part 15 of the series if you have any doubts need technical help job support please write to me at surya.aradhya at gmail.com if you like my work and tutorials please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials following is the playlist i have created so far in the episode in this particular uh, playlist we have covered all the episodes so far from ground zero to advanced use cases in today's episode we are learning about angular component class all right so we learned about components we learned about standalone components we have gone through component template component styling in the previous episode so make sure you check that out so that you have continuity in your learning today's focus is on component class what is a component class a class is just like if you are coming from a programming background like say C, C++, um, Java or any other programming language C hash wherever you have object oriented programming you would be able to relate it a class a component class is where all the logic of the component goes a component class contains all the information about that component it would have all the variables methods related to that particular component inside that class a component needs to be imported into any module where we want to use it unless it's a standalone component right so we have learned about standalone components in the previous episode so i'm sure you're following it components have life cycle methods or hooks every component goes through a series of states or hooks and those are important because right from creation of that particular component to the end that is to destroy till then a component goes through that journey we will cover that in the next episode but for today's episode the focus is on component class with this knowledge in mind let's get started hands on and we'll see detail all right so i'm going to open a component that we created in the last episode just a basic component default component that gets generated when you run the command ng generate c which is component component name when you open a component.ts this is where you will see the class okay this class is what is defining this particular admin component okay in this case if you have some other name it would be by that name so if you open this particular component it says completed task component okay if you see class is a keyword here now so i told you class will have all the related methods and variables okay so method is nothing but if you want to relate those are nothing but just functions okay so you can write any function that you would like and i will start with a simple one in most programming language you will write with function keyword but in typescript you don't have to write it okay so if you are writing a function something like this this is how you would write in any typical programming language but in angular you don't have to write the function keyword okay you just write the name of the function followed by its parenthesis okay so now if you see if you are trying to pass a parameter it will say it was declared and has a implicit type any okay this is one of the most common things i'll come to this in just a bit but for now let's write the most basic thing that you can say okay so this is a simplest example of a method i can tell you we write the function name okay 
so how do you write it you write a function name okay whatever function name you want to give brackets then curly brace and define the scope of that function or method now this is how you write a function now in this case we are writing a function but remember function alone doesn't do anything it needs to be called somewhere right so ng on in it is one of the built-in lifecycle hook that we can use don't worry about it now just let's call it how do you call you'll write this operator dot it would give you all the methods and variables that are inside that okay now let's say you want to define a variable let's say you will say role id okay role id equal to say zero so i am initializing a value for role id okay now what happens when you if you want to do a strict this is TypeScript, right? Which means you need to have the data type. So you can also do something like this. And you can say this is of type number and its initial value is zero. Okay. So you can define what data type it is. Okay. If that is too confusing, just for now, keep it simple. This is a variable. You're assigning a value. Initial default value is zero. Okay. To use anything inside the class if you want to use a variable you want to use a method you will use this operator okay this refers to the class the entire class now let's say inside the sum I want to use the role ID so I can just say this dot and you can see that role ID is coming for us it's available in the class okay now that means you can create methods and variables inside the class and you can use them okay so that's how a typical class works okay so this is what you should remember class will contain functions and variables okay we can call we can call the functions and variables inside the class anywhere using this operator this operator here refers to to the class okay to the class so now if you go back here and you'll see I said this dot role ID that means inside this class find the variable role ID and print that value similarly here I'm calling a method I'm saying inside this particular class find a method by the name sum okay so that is how you define simple functions and variables and write your logic, right? Okay, so if that's clear, now we learned important things here. We learned about functions, variable, this operator, and calling them inside each other, okay? Now what happens when you try to call something which is not there? Let's say add number. I'm trying to call this function which is not there in my class. So if you see it will give you error and if you try to compile it it would give you error there as well let's just take a couple of seconds to build understand the fundamentals that you cannot call a method which which is not there inside the class okay so now you see it is already throwing you error okay now here if you see it has generated your bundle but let's save it and now it will give you error because it did not find this function okay comment it out and it will again compile successfully okay so you can only call you can only call functions and variables within the class scope whatever is there inside the class you can use them okay now what all what else can you do you can do a lot of things let's say number one equal to 10 I'm just showing you some basic stuff here today from next onwards we'll do more aggressive and advanced use cases just want I want you to get comfortable with the basic classes and variables all right so I'm writing a method called add now I can do a lot of any logical operators or addition if else or condition and condition and all that you can do so you can for simple starters I'm just going to this dot number one plus this dot number two okay and this when I call add 
will it what will be the output now can you guess what will be the output no there won't be any output because we have just defined the function we have defined the function but we never called it okay so important thing that I want you to learn here is you need to define the function and then call it if you don't call it you won't see any output anywhere I have defined the method now let's call it I'm going to call it here inside ng on init and I'm going to say add so now I have defined the method I'm calling it inside ng on init so whenever I will load admin it would show the output so if you see what we had done in app component is we are calling the admin see app admin using the selector so I can go to my home page and you can see it in the console you see the value 30 that is getting printed so that's coming from our add method okay if you want to doubly sure or if you're not sure just add a console log and say this is from add function okay so if you see this is from add function and value is 30 perfect all right so what you have learned here is how to write a function what are variables how to assign them and how to call it inside the class remember when you define the function you need to call it somewhere okay then only it will work ideally we'll call this from our HTML template or inside the class you can do it anywhere that we'll see it later okay or let me show it right away to you just so that you are comfortable right and let's say don't worry about this syntax yet I'm going to cover that for you okay and we will cover this in the next couple episodes where we will do interpolation and data binding for now just see that I have added a method and now I'm calling it from the template I'm calling that particular method because it's the same template same component I have the link I click here and it says this is from add function I'll clear console I'll click again so you can see the output clearly right so these are some of the basic stuff that you would do on a day-to-day -day basis when you're working with angular you will write methods you will initialize variables you will do operations you can add conditions if num this dot num1 is greater than 5 do this else right if you have some other condition do this you can use if else you can use for loops right anything that whatever you were using in your programming languages you can do that here okay so here it won't take because we need to define that okay and you can do a console log I for now so just get comfortable with programming in angular this is nothing but same as how you would do in any other programming language you can also add some operators logical operators like this dot num 2 is greater than 5 to this so here I'm using and operator you can use or operator you can use not nor negation operator right is not if not value right so you can use anything here these are all basic fundamental programming principles that I want you to try out um, try writing write few methods call them inside other functions okay define writes define some variables assign some value and call them in methods or functions then write if else inside methods for loop inside method right then try um, calling doing some arithmetic right arithmetic operations like addition add subtract you know multiplication all those things try some logical operators uh, like and or or not okay 
so I just showed you how to do that I'm sure you guys should be able to do that now if you understand this much rest all will be very very easy so just focus on learning these aspects in angular and your journey to angular the further whatever we do will be very very easy okay so that's all you should focus in this episode of writing a method functions inside function calling them variables assigning them value doing some operations okay if you understand this much I'm sure the remaining episodes that we will start from next onwards will be very very easy simple and you would be able to start writing angular applications in no time that's all in today's episode in the next episode I'll talk about component lifecycle we'll talk about implements uh, interfaces that are available in lifecycle hooks and we will start adding them that's all in today's episode I hope you like the tutorial I hope you are following it as always please uh, do reach out to me if you have any doubts or queries I'll be more than happy to help you if you like my work and tutorials please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode